Yo guys, what is up? It is Teacher's Game 2 coming at you again with another video here, and I am here to show you the Bloodstalker and a new biome release, which is so... I mean, first off, you can even see just with the thumbnail, it's beautiful. Now let's check out the Bloodstalker. Oh, just a bit early there. So anyways, as you can see, the Bloodstalker is the creature name. They released it a little while ago. It was like a month ago. They released like a funky image of it. It looks intense. I mean, in insane. It, it looks like a crazy creature. And that's because, well, you're going to see in a second here, but it's amazing. If you don't mind leaving a like on the video, that'd be awesome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and check it out. I've got some cool videos and hopefully you like them. And uh, let's go ahead and check this out. And in comes the Bloodstalker. This is a thing of nightmares. Like, what? It holds you on it. I don't know if you'll need a saddle, I guess, because it looks like it's just holding this guy. Not entirely sure on that. It, that's what it appears to be. It's kind of like holding him in place. And it's Spider-Man. Literally. So... You can see it kind of sitting, so it looks like it's a ground-based creature in order to tame it, and it looks like it's something that can take some damage. The dude shot it with an AR, so we'll see how that goes, but you'll see it shoot a nice spindly web of death, and this is a new meta, again. It allows you to rope people in, which is amazing, and I'm hoping this is something that you can actually use. Now, obviously, that's just... Let's let's go back there. That is creepy. This thing like kind of stabs you to death, and that's you know terrifying. But, anyways, I'm hoping this is a new meta because I don't know how many times you guys have been just trolled by a dude running around on foot. It never makes sense to me that a dude running around on foot while you're on your tame can just smack you around. Now, I get it. You know, there's a lot of different ways and things that cause that to happen. But still, in my opinion, it shouldn't happen. So I'm hoping that this thing can stick him out of the air. And here comes the even more crazy part about the Bloodstalker. Well, first off, look at this beautiful environment. It's just gorgeous. I, I I mean, look at it. I can't even imagine how you could get a more pretty environment. I love Aberration, so this is kind of Aberration-esque to me, and I'm excited for it. Now, also, this guy shoots some sort of web system out and can Spider-Man his ways through the trees. Now, and I'm going to stop it a couple times here because, one, you're going to notice right here you can latch on to different locations of the trees and Spider-Man your way through, which is pretty neato. Now again, look at this environment though. These trees that go way high up, you got the little trees off of them, kind of like aberration ask again, but it's just beautiful. You got this new type of tree here with the light coming down. I don't know. It looks like it could be a more storied system, kind of like they tried to release with Extinction, but we'll see. Obviously, we'll see. So, you can see this thing is kind of swinging through the trees with HNLA following you. And just, I mean, I go back to the fact this map looks gorgeous. Now, you can see the new insignia and stuff. Very gorgeous new insignia. I am, I am pumped. I really don't have a better description other than I am truly pumped for this new arc. And I hope that it's fun. I hope it's great. I am excited for it. And uh, let's all hope that it does a good job because that Deathstalker looks amazing. Now, here's the part that I <laughs> I'm super excited for this. This is the Lunar Biome. Now, the Lunar Biome, I'll let it spell out here first. Okay. First off, what? Look how, I mean, look how just the detail here. Like some maps on Ark, it just feels like sometimes they just put stuff on the map and it exists there. There are cracks in the ground, rocks, pebbles, everything. It's just the light scales as you get further away. It gets a little bit darker. It's just neat. You've got these giant death whales flying through the sky. Here is a planet. Quick science lesson. You can see the atmosphere barely, which is really neat. That's how thin the atmosphere really is for Earth, too. You should be scared. Now... You can hear those guys making their crazy noise. They are enormous. 
They are huge creatures, because off in the distance, they're still really big. In this map, just look at it. I mean, what? You've got these floating islands everywhere, which are going to be amazing base locations if you can build on top of them. And just, th this map just looks beautiful. I don't see many other creatures down here, which is kind of unfortunate, because I was hoping they'd release a little bit more of a biome, like with the creatures and everything included. But you never know. This could be some sort of like lift scheme, so you jump in and get launched up, but you never know. Now, just look at it. It's amazing the creatures that we're seeing them put in. I love this whole fantasy realm. I love dinosaurs. I love the sciencey side of it, but it's still something that, you know, needs a little bit of advancement. I'm hoping so, but, you know, that's the case. Sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's not. Other times it is, blah, 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 blah. But I just love it. This is a planet right here. I'm assuming we won't be able to access the planet, but we're in an arc above the planet. You can see this kind of, like, under realm that you can go into. Um, these are metal rocks, I would assume. Not sure kind of how it is on Aberration, where you've got those blue glow to them. And those are the metal rocks, whereas those are normal rocks. I mean... It genuinely looks like they have created another new style of map, and I am really excited. Some of the other maps kind of felt like reskins, but this one looks like a brand new style with new air system tames. It's, it, for lack of a better word, it looks fun. It genuinely looks fun. Now, we'll see. I mean, obviously, this is something that progresses as we go, but you never know. Now, I mean, I'm just super excited. I, I, I don't know if you guys are or not, but I am. I, I feel like ARK needs a shake-up, and this is going to provide that. It only comes out in less than two months, or I guess about two months. So I'm excited. I'm hoping that there's some new, new neat content that gets released. You never know. I'm, I'm going to keep providing content for it, and I hope that you guys will you know keep checking videos out. Anyways, other than that, Teacher's Game 2, out.